Hello everyone, it's me, Michael, or Inspector Taco, and I'm back for another LEGO Star Wars video. This time, the Mandalorian's forge has been revealed, or as it's officially known, the Armor's Mandalorian forge has been revealed, and it has 258 pieces and should retail for $30 as a store exclusive on September the 1st, right near my birthday. That's convenient. Let's take a look at this. So looking at the build, it looks like there's a hydraulic press. It also looks like there's a cabinet that is going to contain some tools used in the show. The classic broom, an unmarked Mandalorian helmet, the Mandalorian trademark sign above the forge, which has become so iconic. What looks to be an anvil or a blade sharpening tool and a, fl a flaming kind of fireplace, you know, that would be used to craft like swords and stuff as you would see in a blacksmith shop. And that is the main forge itself. You could see lots of blue flames there, which is rather nice. Overall, lots of nice detail here along with some more tools connected to the sides. Looks like you might be able to turn the main flaming section of the build. That'll be cool. Let's take a look at those minifigures. Well, there's three minifigures here. Technically, they're all exclusive, but really when you look at prints, only two are. The one thing that makes this version of the Mandalorian exclusive is that instead of a cape, he has a jetpack. And that's really cool. It's the first time the jetpack has ever been in that color, as far as I know. And it's the first time the Mandalorian has ever had a jetpack in Lego minifigure form. We have the Mandalorian armor. And she should have, like, some kind of, like, fluffy coat piece. But instead, they just print it, which feels lazy. Also, there's a lazy helmet reuse. Now, I could understand why LEGO would use this. It's another horned Mandalorian helmet, but the horn should be vastly smaller to the point where they should, like, be prints or just way smaller horns. And I don't think there's four of them. I'm not completely sure on that. But I don't think four is the exact number of horns on the helmet. Yeah, there should have been, like, a coat here to make the armor feel more well-rounded and buff on the character not to say, i'm not saying the character is very muscular i'm just saying that there needed to be some kind of fluffy coat piece to make them feel like they're really wearing armor instead it feels like they might just be wearing a jacket or a shirt and it just doesn't feel good enough next up we have paz Vizla, and i just love the look on him Completely covered with detail from head to toe. He uses that new armor piece That makes him look really bulky and again, I can I can feel that Pat Vizsla is wearing Armor and heavy armor at that but the Mandalorian Armor should also look like she's wearing armor instead. She looks like she's wearing a shirt with a vest over it It, it just doesn't look that good, but Paz Vizsla is awesome he has a cool pack. I think it's his jet pack. Nice sand blue color scheme. That's all from the minifigures. Well, I hope to get this set. It looks rather nice. The main appeal being the minifigures with them being exclusive and all that. Really nice build too. I think the unmarked Mandalorian helmet will be good. I forgot to mention, but there's a small Mandalorian hologram off to the side. It's it's a cylinder, not a specific piece or specialized piece. But enough of my rambling. Be sure to tell me what you think down below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.